Ladies, gentlemen, and others, welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. My name is Bull, and I'm going to be doing kind of a early impressions uh, slash what is this game uh, video here. Uh, partially for some friends, but partially just because, you know, people might be interested in that sort of thing. So, our, what is Ark Survival Evolved? It is a survival game, as the name implies. Uh, players can host their own servers, or there are some public servers to play on, and you create this character who is dropped on this island, naked with no supplies. And the idea is to gather supplies, gather food, uh, level up, research items, and learn how to build and craft items, and uh, basically to survive. And one of the big reasons why surviving is tough on this island is this island is full of prehistoric nasties like dinosaurs. Uh, there are T-Rexes, there are Megalodons in the water, giant alligators, uh, compies, raptors, uh, saber-toothed tigers. There's all kinds of crazy stuff in this game. Uh, it's fantastic fun. I've been having a great time with it. I've played uh, a number of hours over the last two days, and I'm just having a ball. So, anyways... Uh, I just picked some random server to play on because I wanted to show you guys the uh, character creation, such as it is. There's not too much to it. Um, there's a number of sliders. You can do all kinds of weird things, but unfortunately the characters end up quickly looking very strange because you can get some really goofy looking stuff. some real serious mutants going on. Uh, I've seen some really strange characters. There was one guy I was watching, I saw that had, like, he increased his uh, forearm size, so he looked like Popeye. It was kind of funny. Um, and the female character, of course, has a chest slider, and it does exactly what you would think it would do, and it gets also kind of ridiculous. So we're just going to kind of use the default character here. Um, this is the uh, this is this is a general map of the island and it gives you a vague idea of what it looks like. Um, when you first spawn in and whenever you respawn, you can choose uh, a number of different zones, and it will drop you in a general area based on that zone you choose. So you can kind of pinpoint a section of the island, but it's not a specific spawn point. It's random within that location. So we're gonna go with. South Zone 3. I haven't been there, so I don't know what's going to be there. And it's crashed. Oh, oh there we go. Alright, we'll watch this. Yeah, you have some sort of implant in your arm, and that's what that is. And hopefully they didn't spawn us anywhere near anything too nasty. Alright. Oh, and hey, look, there, you can see dinosaurs right off the bat. Some nice giant turtles. Uh, Triceratops. Brontosaurus. Let's come over here and take a look. Just so you can see the scale and size here. Yeah, this is the Brontosaurus. Yeah, that's big. Alright, fortunately, none of these guys are, uh... <coughs> and a parasaur. Uh, fortunately, none of these guys are, uh, aggro. So, you're okay there. Now, like I was saying, there's not much of a story to the game, at least not at this point. Um, as a note, the game is available on Steam. It is an early access game. It is effectively in some variation of beta. Um... Or alpha, I mean. So, the game can be a little janky at times. Uh, I generally think it looks beautiful. Um, and it actually runs pretty decent. I have a good system. 8 megabytes of RAM. Um, I have a GeForce that was... Eh, not top of the line, but decent as of a year and a half ago. Two, almost two years ago. Um, and I've got a 
decent uh, processor. My computer was never really top of the line graphic, graphics wise, um, and it's almost two years old now, and it still runs the game pretty decently. And as a note, I am it runs it on medium graphics, anyways. Uh, let me pull up that uh, options. Yeah, I've got pretty much everything set to medium and a lot of the weird-ass stuff uh, turned off or turned way down to kind of help with frame rate and stuff. Um, so keep in mind, this is what this is this is what the game largely looks like on uh, medium level. So I still think it looks really, really good. It's got some great detail to it and some stuff. And the game looks amazing if you have a system that can run it on high res. Uh, the other thing is, as I said, this is an alpha version of the game-ish. Um, like I said, it's Steam Early Access. Um, so one of the things that that means is the game is not optimized, and the developers have been very upfront about the fact that the game isn't optimized yet. So I expect that retail release will help clean up some of the stuff like the frame rate and stuff like that. Um, load times on it are also really brutal. Um, it takes a couple of minutes to, to load up the game every time you load it in. But... Uh, Again, like I said, it's an early access, so you're kind of dealing with that. Oh, hey, look, dodos. These are fun. All right, so, as I said, you are dropped on an island, and you are butt-ass naked. Well, you have a pair of underwear on, because that keeps the game from being X-rated. So, pardon me as I squeak my chair. Um, and you start off with nothing. Uh, well... I take that back. Uh, this was... I got some stuff I think it's for, for being an early access subs, uh, guy. You, and these are item skins. Um, basically, you can use these on other items to make them look differently. Uh, two of them are skins for saddles. And, yeah, that's one of the fun things, is that you can actually tame the dinosaurs. And then, for most of the dinosaurs, you can throw a saddle on them and ride them. Which is fantastic. And then there's another one that's for a, a hat that makes it look like a kind of a hunter's uh, boonie hat. And then you've got a specimen implant that tells you that you're a specimen number, uh, but I don't know what it actually means. Uh, my best guess, just as to what the plot is, is that because of the, based on the name and what's going on, is that this is all some sort of weird alien experiment, maybe. Um, you're dropped on an island to see how well you do. Maybe being tested. Um, I can't s Oh, you can kind of see there's a light beam in the center of the screen, way off in the distance, um, up above the trees. Um, there are, every now and then, these weird artifact things will spawn, and basically they're chests that have random loot in them. And they're... Different color beams will show up, and they are different levels of chests, and they will have different levels of gear for you. Um, so you have to be that level. Uh, you earn experience by doing various things. Oops. There we go. Um, as you can see, just by me talking, I've accrued 3.2, 3.3 experience. You get experience just for surviving. You also get experience when you do gathering, when you kill things, when you craft things. Um... When, when you level up, you'll get to put, you'll get a skill point, or a, an attribute point you can put into one of these attributes here, um, down in the bottom corner. Health, stamina, oxygen, food, water. Um, that will increase those, um, and that's good. It gives you, like, more health and more stamina is obvious, but, like, food and water, as you can see, these are slowly decreasing. So that increases the maximum food capacity, I guess. So, you eat more food, but then it takes longer before you're hungry again. And if your water or food ever runs out, you will starve or start to dehydrate and take damage, and it is all kinds of bad. Uh, going down the list, oxygen, uh, when you're swimming, your oxygen if you're underwater, your oxygen will go down. Um, it is really hard to get up to the surface, surface and take a breath, so your oxygen will deplete. Uh, food and water, uh, weight is how much stuff you're carrying. I can carry 100 pounds, I guess, of stuff. 100 weight. I'm going to move away from the dodo because it's really obnoxious. The little squealing. Oh, hey, somebody left a fireplace here. Cool. That will be really useful in a little bit. So, alright. Uh, you got melee damage is how much damage you deal when you punch or hit things with weapons, um, and you can increase that. 
movement speed is your base movement speed, and again, you can make yourself faster. Uh, fortitude is, I think, resistance to the elements. I'm not entirely sure what the elements do. I know sometimes it'll say you got, you're too cold or you're too hot, um, but I'm not 100% positive what those do. Uh, crafting speed, you're, as you craft stuff, it will take a little while. Um, you can bump that up if you want to be a, a really quick crafter and be able to just crank things out. And then finally, Torpor. Um, some stuff will... <laughs> oh my god. Some stuff will make you go and will give you points of Torpor, which makes you sleep. Um, some stuff will voluntarily do that, like there's some, 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 uh, narco berries that will put you to sleep, but while you're sleeping, you'll, you'll gain a bunch of health. Um, but generally speaking, falling asleep is bad, because, uh, while these animals over here are all passive, there are many, many, many animals that are not passive. Um, and I will say that the water is generally bad. You can go in the water, look underwater. See a whole lot right now, uh, but if you go into the deeper water, there are well, in some of the shallower areas you'll find giant alligators, and in the deeper area you will get um, uh, megalodons, and they're all kinds of bad. And I just leveled, so sweet. So I can show you how that works. So, like I said, you level up, uh, and you get to put points into something. And I'm just going to throw points into. I find putting points into health, health, stamina. Food and water are all great. Weight is great, especially later on once you start really digging in and start crafting because it's a pain in the ass to not be able to carry a whole lot. Uh, movement speed's always great for being able to move quicker, but uh, I'm just going to throw it into health for now. And then once you level up, you'll gain a number of engram points. Engrams are your crafting recipes. Uh, these are level gated, so you start off only being able to craft uh, certain recipes. As you level up, more re recipes will open up that you can learn. Uh, they cost a number of engram points. Um, the first ones cost three, but those get more and more expensive as they go on as well. And some engrams require other um, uh, other engrams to have been learned first. So sometimes there's kind of a tree, and it'll tell you what it requires. Um, so I'm going to start off by learning the stone hatchet and the spear, because those along with one that you should start with, let me see what I've got craftables, all right, yeah, I know, I, I started with being able to make a torch, and being able to make a pickaxe, um, the pickaxe, the hatchet, and the spear, and to a lesser extent the torch and the campfire, uh, are your, those are most, the most base, those should be the first things you get. Alright, so now once you spawn in, and this was fun, I didn't have any idea what I was doing, I hadn't watched any videos, I didn't read any tutorials, I just sort of jumped into the game and figured, hey, I'm a, I'm a gamer, I can figure out what I can do. Well, the fun part was, is when I spawned in, I was on the beach, and it was dead of night, which meant it was pitch black, because I had no light sources. So that was fun. I waited out nightfall, and fortunately nothing came along and ate me. And then once it was day, I was stuck trying to figure out what to do, and I had no idea. The only thing I can find is that when I press the mouse button, it punches. Uh, the and, and I couldn't figure any other buttons out. Nothing else seemed to do anything. So I fell back on my Minecraft experience, of all things. Skills learned in Minecraft. And I punched a tree. Oops, get a little closer. And when you punch trees... You get stuff. However, if you look at the um, bottom corner of my screen, you'll see that my health bar, the little cross... Oh, that's what those bars are. The top one's your experience. The second one is weight. Uh, the droplet is water. The little meat thing, like a meat, is uh, how, uh, your, your fullness. Uh, the lightning bolt is your energy, and the cross is your health. You'll see I took a fair amount of damage punching the tree because, well, my fists are not invulnerable. So, uh, but my health will recover fairly quickly, uh, and it will recover more if you eat certain things. Um, so now I have some thatch. However, to make 
the pickaxe, which is going to be my first thing. I also need stone and wood. Now, from trees, you can get um, thatch and wood. Uh, unfortunately, when you punch trees, you will generally get uh, I got some wood. You will most often get thatch. You don't get a ton of wood. Alright, we're going to stop doing that before I kill myself, because you'll see the side of the screen's kind of flashing a little bit red. That's because my health has gotten low. Alright, so now I have wood and I have thatch, but I need stone. And unfortunately... Punching stone does not seem to do anything. So, you have to find stone some other way. Fortunately, there are stone all over the rocks. And this is, a, this is something that got me really confused, because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, if you go into I, or not I, Escape and Options, it tells you most of your, uh, what most of your buttons do. Uh, and the one that I, I kept missing was this one right here, Use, E. That is your most important one, to be completely honest. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, for the most part, you'll figure some of the rest of this out as you play around, but... E is your friend, because basically you'll punch things and you'll do interact with things with E. And there'll be these loose stones, especially along the beach. You can run around and you can pick up loose stones. Nice thing you don't have to stop. You can just sort of run and spam E as you run. And you'll notice up at the top of the screen it just said, I defecated. And if you look behind you, there is poop. Don't pick up the poop, and more importantly, don't eat the don't use the poop because you will eat it, which is just fucking disgusting. Um, ugh. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, right. I'm getting confused and distracted by the poo. All right, so yes, um, your character and the dinosaurs will occasionally, well, poop. Um as you digest things. The poop is actually used for something, so eventually you'll want to pick it up. Um, once you start getting higher in the tech tree, uh, you can start farming, and you can use it as fertilizer. So, there is actually a purpose to it, but I just find it annoying and disgusting. The other thing you're going to use E a lot for is foraging. Any of these little bushes you can forage. You will grab various random berries, uh, there is, as far as I can tell at this point, no rhyme or reason to what berries actually drop. I'm gathering stone. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to do this for a couple of minutes, just because. Uh, there's not really a rhyme or reason to what berries drop, as far as I can tell. You'll be hitting the same bush, and it will drop three or four different berries and maybe a couple of seeds. You'll get those occasionally, and it'll also drop fiber. And fiber is a crafting item, mainly used... Oh, I'm just getting stone. I'm reaching basically past the bush because there's a bunch of stones on the ground underneath of it. It's kind of annoying when I don't want stone. But when I'm actually looking for loose stone, it's a big pain in the butt. Alright. Look up a little bit more. Closer. There we go. And anyways, the reason I'm doing this is because... If you'll notice my little uh, food health bar is down under half already. Food goes quick. So I am going to eat some of the various berries. Now, there's a bunch of different berries, and they're used for different things. Uh, one of the things you can do with a lot of the berries is apparently create dyes. I haven't gotten that far into the game yet. Um, and besides that, there's two, two berries you want to keep an eye out for. Um, there's stem berries and narco berries. Narco berries, you're not going to want to eat. They're going to give you points of torpor, which, if your torpor goes high enough, you will go unconscious. Um, and then stim berries, on the other hand, uh, lose torpor, but they make you dehydrated. So you don't want to necessarily eat those either. Oh, God. <laughs> that's the bra... I think that's the brachiosaur. Brontosaur. Bronto is what it's called. Um, anyways, I need to eat. So eat... I'm just going to eat all of these for the moment, because I need, yeah, my health, my food maxed out at 100, and I was down under 40. 
this isn't going to be great, but it'll, it'll get me started. Okay. Fortunately, the brown eye won't actually step on me or anything, so... So I'm going to craft... this stone pick. And then I'm going to throw the stone pick... Oh, not that. I need to go to inventory. There we go. I got a stone pick. I'm going to throw that down into here. Now, now, if you notice at the bottom, I have a hotbar. That's what I was dropping it into that one. That puts it into your hotbar actions. And if I hit one, it pops up. And now I can start hitting things. I no longer have damage myself, although the item does take damage. And so you'll have to repair it or make a new one uh, if it gets damaged. fine at this point, um, and I'm also going to hit some rocks for a minute. Um, and the rocks are fantastic when they break, because these, these boulders basically just sort of explode once they're used up. It's, it's rather amusing. There you go, seeing just a big pieces of boulder go flying everywhere, and sometimes they just go just flying. Alright, I'm going to turn... turn the game volume down just a little bit. There we go. So hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better. Because I think some of these noises were getting a little loud. Alright, now... I've got enough to build a hatchet. Now, there's like I said, there's two. These are your two main uh, gathering tools: the pick and the hatchet. The pick, when you use it, will gather certain types. It will you'll most commonly get certain types of um, material. Uh, stone will give rocks will give you stone and flint. Trees give you thatch and wood, and body and bodies will give you meat and hide. So generally speaking, you'll mo you'll more commonly get one type one of those items from the from the uh, pickaxe, and you will get the other item more commonly from the hatchet. So you'll switch back and forth between those depending on what you want. Now the other thing I need to get is a spear. So I need more wood. I've got enough flint because it takes two flint, and I got enough fiber. It takes twelve fiber. So I need some wood. And I am going, so I'm going to switch over to the axe so that I'm getting more wood than thatch. And pretty much any of these trees are fair game to be chopped at. Now you can see I'm getting 12 wood, 15 wood, versus only 4 thatch. Oh, that was, that was really good. Let's clear this one too, just to get, just to get a little more. some more points into health, because why not? And then I need to learn, I'm going to learn campfire, because that's your next best one. And then I'm going to, I've got seven points left. I'm going to learn pants and shirts, so that I can actually put some clothes on. And those actually count as a little bit of armor as well. So... However, first things first, spears. I'm going to make two spears. And I'm going to have, I have enough left over, I'm going to make a campfire. Oh wait, I don't need to make a campfire. Oh well, I'm making one anyways. Alright, so... We're going to throw the spear down here into my heart bar. I'm going to throw the campfire into my heart bar. Um, food is 
is okay-ish, because I ate a lot of berries, but we're going to need to do something. So let's go over and... Uh, hold on. Oh, crap. Wrong button. I really need to minimize that. Sorry, sorry, my, uh, recording program I kind of had off the side of the screen, but for some reason I kept clicking it. Alright, so I kill the dodo. Dodos are nice because they're passive, so all they will do is run away. They won't attack you back. And I want meat, so I want to use the pickaxe. So you go over and you hit the body with the pickaxe. And this is going to be an invulnerable dodo, isn't it? For some reason, I noticed this the other night. Every now and then, some of the dodos... You can't seem to do anything with. Oh, but... Yeah, okay. I can drag it. Let's try dragging it out somewhere. See if maybe it's because it's stuck in the ground or something. So, I hit E. Yeah, I'm not even dragging it. Okay, yeah, I think it's a glitched. I've just, like I said, I noticed that with some of the dodos. Um, the spears don't have a health bar the way the other items do. Oh. Whatever I do, do not hit him. He will eat me for lunch. And you can see he was just knocking trees over. Alright, let's try another dodo. Back here. Alright. There we go. I gotta hide. And a couple of raw meat. Okay. That's what we wanted. Alright, so now we're gonna drop the fire right here. And then we're gonna open the fire up with an E. Go over to it. throw some wood. Um, you can split the wood by holding shift and then dragging and dropping. We'll throw 15 wood on. It's more than enough. But it's going to be getting dark soon. Uh, you can see over here it's almost 6 o'clock in the evening. So it's getting to be late. They will light the fire. Oop. And this, mo this meat will eventually cook. Um, it takes a few. Oh my god, I hate brontosauruses. I actually love these damn things, but... Oh, you'll see at the top, spoiled. Um, and if you mouse over an item, many of your food items say spoils in and it's a certain amount of time. Uh, food items don't last. Uh, however, cooked items will last longer than uncooked items, so like raw meat will spoil fairly quickly, while cooked meat will take much longer to spoil. Oh, I'm so glad you can't hurt anything that you step on. At least not crafted stuff. I think he'll knock over trees if he steps on them. Oh, those things are so annoying. Alright. Yep, see, I've made two cooked. I will also get charcoal, which is used in other crafting stuff. So I'm going to drag that down there. ahead and use those. Meat gives you 20 uh, food points per meat, whereas like berries are one a piece. So when in, when you can get cooked meat, it is much better for you. You'll fill up much quicker. Uh, the other thing is, is with water, your, your dehydration level, um, when you're raining, it will automatically fill up your dehydration level. Uh, you also have to go submerge yourself in water. Um, otherwise. Not just walk to the water, but you actually have to go into the water. Ooh. That is relatively close, but I think that's blue. And it's far enough away, I'm not going to mess with it. I would like to go check it out, but like I said, I think it's blue anyways, which I think is uh, level 15. And it's about to get dark. So, 
Um, I am going to... Oops. I'm going to grab this food out of here. I'm going to leave the... Eh, hell. I'm going to put more wood in, because since it's about to be night, I really want the light. The light doesn't really, I don't think, do anything. It doesn't, like drive out the monster, the, the dinosaurs or anything like that. Unfortunately, the rain doesn't put out your fire, but uh, I hell with it. We're going to take a chance. Worst that happens is we die. I don't know how far that away it is. It's, it's deceptive sometimes. Those light beams are huge. And sometimes distance in this game is hard to judge. I'm also worried about running running into critters that will attempt to eat me. Yeah, unfortunately you can see with the rain and there's a lot of uh, clutter and stuff. Um, the frame rate is getting really jaggy. Again, like I said, if you've got a good a good a good system, so if you've got a newer system, it's fine. And the game is playable even like this, although right now it's getting really obnoxious. Um, I've only seen it like this once or twice. Um, and I can turn things down a little bit. But you saw I was also I got tired because I was uh, using the sprint button, which is if you hold down tab while you're moving, uh, you'll sprint. Which makes you move a lot faster, obviously. Uh, get over here. However, when you do a lot of sprinting, you also burn through food faster, so you want to be careful with that. All right, yeah, these are these. I like I said, I don't know what exactly what these are. There's some sort of supply caches. Oh, there's also these towers, and I have no idea what those towers. Are. I think they are involved with like artifacts or something like that. But again, I haven't played enough to know. Um. And the wikis and stuff that are around don't have tons and tons of information yet. Uh, I think the game's only been open for a little over a month. Oh, uh, I don't know what just happened. That's what happens when you collect it. I wonder if I ran out of time, because they will despawn after a little bit. Bummer. Alright. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get back to my base, and I'm going to go ahead and pause this to let night... I'm going to pause the recording, because I want, uh... A, this is a good place to, to break this recording off. So I'm going to go ahead and do a part two, um... But I'm also going to wait till morning rolls around and, uh, get some more light so I can show you guys some more stuff. Um... I'll probably do one more playthrough video, because the other thing I want to show you is the basics of taming. Um, and then I'll switch over to my main gear, character, uh, my main game, which is on my buddy, uh, Kane Hazen's, uh, Broomstick Fighters. Uh, he's got a private, well, it's not a private server, it's a public server, but it's, it's his personal server. Um, I will post a link to that server in the, uh, underneath the description here. So if you're interested, you can come play with us. Uh, just, you know, be cool, don't be an idiot. We're not looking for giant PvP battles or anything like that. We just, you know, we're looking for cool people to hang out with and build bases with and hunt dinosaurs with. So anyways, um, yeah, uh, rain stopped, yay. I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and uh, I will resume it when, uh, when morning comes around, and uh, that will be part two for this. So we'll see you then.